Hello everyone. I am finally back to my normal self. I have cleared myself of the unfortunate throat problem that I had encountered during my rather nasty fall sickness. So here we are, returning once again to the wonderful world of Empire II Total War. Unfortunately, you see, the 13 Colonies campaign were a bit of a flop. It's gone belly up. I am sorry to say I was rather enjoying it, and it seems like quite a lot of you were as well. I apologize profusely, because you see what happened here is it just stopped working. I went to open it up in the save game. I went to go and play and record a nice little saucy episode for you all, and it wouldn't even load. I got the, the infamous crashed desktop about two seconds into the loading bar, and it persisted every single time it did it. I tried reverting from an update to a previous version that didn't do a bloody thing. As a matter of fact, it just made it worse. Wouldn't even open the game at that point, so... Eh. But here we are with the newest and latest version of the Empire 2 mod. This is what they call the Nine Years War beta version. Because it takes the game back just a bit, just a tad bit, from our usual 1700 start date to make the map a little more politically accurate at the time for what each of these rather important nations held in terms of uh, continental supremacy. It takes us back, it's about 10 years I believe, to 1690 here. And it's not, not too much of a change really when you look at it. The world is not significantly shifted, so everything is pretty, pretty similar. I think the Ottoman Empire might have a couple changes, I think. No, let's have a look. Where are they here? Oh, I feel like they got the same stuff. Maybe I'm just going mad. I don't know. I feel like something mentioned somewhere that some territory changed. I know they got rid of the the one out in the, uh, the East Indies Trade Theater. They got rid of that because that was, that was indeed causing difficulties for the game. It didn't like it very much. But as I promised, I had indeed promised that we would return to the uh, the mighty beast of the Ottoman Empire, indeed, in 1690 this time. So we're going to have another crack at this. Hopefully my artillery does not bug itself to death. It seems to like to do this thing where I'll move the artillery piece, but a group of guys seem to stay behind. Not sure what that's about. And then when I try to unlimber the gun, nothing happens, and it just gets blown to bits and shot to hell. So, yes, that's fun. Hopefully we don't have those nasty bugs this time. However, the history of Europe over the last centuries can be seen as the history of the Ottoman Empire, and a few annoying small nations that thwarted Ottoman ambitions. How unruly. Ottoman power is unmatched in its extent and grandeur, straddling, that's very weird, the traditional trade route between Europe and Asia. The Ottomans also have power over the whole of the Mediterranean coast of North Africa. And you know why we got that? Because of the Barbary states. The little pirates are on our side. It's just very cute, isn't it? We're going to do the short campaign. Capture all 20 regions by 1750, end of the year, including things here. Venetia, Galicia, and Podolia. Rumelia, Austria, yay. Persia, Chechnya, Dagestan, and Hungary because we're hungry, so we're gonna have a meal. Let's go. Your first priority oh, this lady. Should be to protect the boundaries of your empire to the north and west. Yeah, this funny fish. Hostile Russia is attempting to obtain a black seaport through your protectorate, the Crimean Carnate. Filthy and people. And the recent peace, your traditional peace. enemies, the Austrian Empire, peace. will press home any advantage it's in the war. territories of Bosnia It's a bloody war. Serbia. Peace. As the empire of Safavid Persia collapses, Who? there may be incursions into your territory from the eastern desert. Unacceptable. So secure the borders of Mesopotamia and Armenia to keep their movement in check. Oh, we shall. You must also consider the steady advance of technology in the west. Must we? Very soon, you could find yourself disadvantaged on the battlefield. Never. With only weight of numbers swinging in your favor. Never, never, never. Keep of technology by assigning scholars to research all the latest developments. Tasty. Maintaining friendly relations with a major European power, possibly France. Why the frogs? I don't want them. Russia and Austria rise against you. Rather a Britain. 
Continuing Frog Russia's is nasty. Russian control of the Crimean Khanate and surrounding regions mm -hmm. should prevent Russia from breaking out of their present landlocked status, oh boy. whilst the Barbary states should continue to act as a buffer to the aggressive navies of Catholic Venice and Spain. The Catholic goes, we don't want them, no. They're going to cause intense issues. So what are we going to do off the bat? Let's, oh, well, yeah. Mustafa, you're doing us in. Oh, good lord, everyone hates us. Lower it a bit there, everyone's happier now. Oh yeah, I forgot. The cabinet that consists of nobody who knows how to politic. Yeah, especially this guy, Dillman. He's a dilly, all right. What do we got down here? Honest and a tactician. Okay, well, yeah, no. No, we don't want him. Morally impaired, that's not very good, is it? Pious. Eh, you know. No, not really feeling him. Not that I'd want to, anyway. G gritly. Gritly. He is, yes, you know. You know what? Agrarian. No. No, we don't want him in there. I think... Grit, gritly. Hakim. Hakim Optical. Sorry. Yes. We're going to throw him in there because he's an industrial rev. And he's going to give us a bit of cash. The army guy. The vizier. He's actually quite alright. But he's got that minus and we don't want that. That nonsense. This guy, however, gives us a plus one to management. And is pretty good in the army. So, oh, yes. Let's have him tickle that bit. No, you see, that's not cutting it there. Who's it? Jesus, Lord. The justice guy. How about we put him in the head? Yeah, go to the heads. Uh -huh. This one. I feel like this one is a bit better. Yeah, I feel like he's a little better for the justice. Let's just, let's just do that. What do we got down here, then? Jughead. Oh, my Lord. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't think we got it. Fantastic. We'll do that for now. Well, yeah. We'll have to trade with quite a lot of people off the bat. First thing we'll probably want to do, I would imagine, is let's merge up our navies here. So we got, we got this. What's this? A light galley and a dow. And dow. Very unfortunate. And what are these? Ah, an Admiral Flagship 40 gun frigate. That's cute. Galley and light galley. Yes. That fleet, we'll just keep it there for now. I think that'll be all right. We are at war with Austria at the start, which is quite different from uh, from the original 1700 introduction. We have got these forces here in Yeshe, so I, I say we go ahead and put them in. They can hold it for now. There's this fort over here. I don't think we need to garrison it. Let's pull back to Belgrade. Reinforce the town a bit there. Now, if we bring these Israelis, I do wonder. Probably best to bring them up to Belgrade. I think that should be okay. Oh, what's this? Who is Israelis. Pull them into Sarajevo. Don't need them too exposed. We're not going to attempt the war with Venice very fast. I want to deal with Austria first, because that's going to be our, our main threat right now, since we're already at war with it. Doesn't that suck grotesquely? We've got Baltasi Mehmet here. We're going to put him into Yerevan. Look at the mustache on the man. Wow. Defensively inept. The state of the Ottoman armed forces is clearly exhilarating. What are we going to do now? We're going to need to build those little boats. The light galley is rather cheap. You know, it's the cheapest bit of buggery we've got. 900 gold. So we're doing them. And we're going to put as many of these as possible. That's a trading port. Yes, that's a trading port. In our trading ports. Make sure it's a trading port before we build it. So that's a shipyard. I don't care too much. Hold on. It's trading. The shipyard tra- Oh. Okay, never mind. Completely disregard my previous statement of stupidity. Oh, we can't build a little bitty thing. Okay. Screw you. 
Light galley two, light galley, yeah, light galley. There's another light galley, a Corvette. That's a nice car. And you know, that's not gonna wait. Then we're gonna wait for that type of thing. Now over here, we weren't able to build a little moat there. So let's build another one here, and we'll send them up there. And I think that should be okay. That should do, I think. We should be alright with that. How How is the recruitment looking here? Oh, we can get quite some nice things. What are you? Militia. Very green. Bashi Bazook. Absolutely, and the Israelis. The Israelis might be the best bet we got right now for ranged infantry. Build grade one. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> the frickin' organ gun. No. You know what? I'm an asshole. <laughs> Let's just fuck the Austrians with an organ gun. Well, we're at it. <laughs> you know, when opportunities expose themselves, I'm not against it. Not at all. I think we're gonna need some more Israeli over here. Yes, there's nothing over here, really. Yeah, I think that's probably the best bet at the moment. 300 of these guys. Ooh. Oh, the Bashi Bazooks are better, though. And uh, tidbit, tidbit better on the attack. Pretty well rounded, these guys. Bashi. Yeah. Let's get it over here, actually. You know what? Let's get some Bashi Bazook there. We need to improve that town's defensive position. And I think that's all right for now. I hope Venice didn't attack, because that would suck immensely. Now, unfortunately, I've gone and done all that, and I'm going to have to trade without any money. <laughs> Sweden's very friendly. They will indeed enjoy trading with us. The Dutch. Dutch penguins, absolutely. Prussia. Oh, I'd love to be an ally with you. Damn. Damn you Barbary pirates. There. Oh, no, no, no. You don't do those things. How about I give you... You know what? That could be beneficial if you go to war with Austria. It's brilliant, yes. I agree. Who else can we... The Marathas. They should be okay. How about an alliance? You know, well, they'll try, and they'll give us money. Sure, the, I don't care about the alliance that much. I'll take the cash at this point. Portugal, will you? Yes, they are pleased. Savoy. Uh, Savoy. No. No, unfortunately. How about we give you some of this? Can't give you any of that. No, they don't like that idea. That sucks to be them. How about Louisiana? Will you trade? They will. Scotland. Why not? Unacceptable. Well, so is your face. Let's try the 13 colonies then. They are happy to have concluded business with us. The Spaniard? Yeah, I didn't expect the Spaniard. You know what? <laughs> there are neighbors. We're going to kill them. Eh, they didn't want to trade anyway. How about if we get friendly with Poland? You know? Let's give them grenades or something. I wonder. It worked. But try and keep the Poles friendly with us. Let's try trading with New Spain. Yeah, the colonies usually always do it. Nothing wrong with it. It's quite nice. Den oh, there, there they are. There they are, Willy Boy. Please, do trade. Can I give you some... Oh, yes. Yeah. We want them to be happy with us. We're going to become friends. Possibly uh, allies, indeed. Is that pretty much everybody we can trade with, then? Because Savoy didn't want to hear it. Unfortunately. How about if we pay them a little? Can we pay... Pay them a little bit of cash. Ah, yes. They did like that. That's pretty much it for what we can do. Ah, that's a lot nicer, isn't it? 4558 in the bowl next turn. That is glorious indeed. 
They they are a little exposed up here in in Klausenburg. They got their militia and their pikes. And Guido von Stahrenberg is going to be a star in heaven because he's going to die when we bring up the organ gun at that point I will launch my attack into Transylvania when we have the organ gun right let's do it in ah you are being a naughty little boy the money's nice but you see I kind of want to keep the bloody empire Goodbye. Now, you see, I feel like if we recruit some real saucy cavalry over here, the Austrians might just get smacked. Let's go for the Ekinji. Ekinji, please. Very pretty. Yeah, that's pretty much it. War everywhere. Total war. Isn't that what the game is called? Might just be my memory serving me incorrectly. Yes, garrison the town, please. Moving in things. Yeah, pan doors. I'll see about your doors. We might as well bring these Muslims and Semenyas up. I don't see why not. That cavalry is going to be absolutely terrific. We have already got Deli Orsman. Just get in the Akinji here. Oh, oh we're going to wipe them up. Just tickle them all over. Feather pen time. Make sure we bring these guys up to your van. I've done it again, haven't I? I've forgotten the frickin' technology. <laughs> At least I haven't gotten too far. So, we'll go for the plug bayonet. Ugh. God, how about no? This one. Yeah. Academic training doctrine first. It doesn't impact us as much on the monetary side. And, yeah, all our wonderful little ships have been built. That's, that's very nice. So that means we've got this extra one over here, which we're going to put up into Antalya and protect the little thing. Yes. There we go. Nice and, nice and tidy. So hopefully the Barbary fleet is going to take care of any enemy ships. Ooh. Let's go raid the Austrian trade at Trieste. That sounds like a nice idea. You know what would be absolutely nasty to do? And I know you're going to agree with me. I think we should build a peasant farm. Because that'll make people happy. And it's tremendously cheap. Look at this. We can recruit. Yeah. It's here. Would you believe it? Let's recruit the general. Oh, brilliant. Ah, that's a good guy right there. That's a real good squid. Demat Ali. He's actually pretty terrific too, except for that one. We don't talk about that bit. Israelis, you might be in need of. And some of the Azap infantry. I don't see why not. And then over here, what could you possess more of? How about some... Some more Bashi Bazook. Perhaps the Azap Infantry. That might that might do you well. Bring you in there. This, yeah, we're kind of just holding here. Uh I guess we can get some militia. It's not too far off from our uh, capabilities of our Israelis. So might as well field that. Ah, there they are. Let's block that little boat in there. It's a brig of war. We should be able to outmaneuver that little pisser. I think other than that, we're pretty all right. What are we waiting for over here? Just that cavalry. So all that stuff next turn, and then, yeah, one more turn, and we'll be good to Pincer Transylvania. Feeling real saucy. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful stuff. I don't care about that bit. Let's try now to build up our economy a little more. What's that? Turkish bath. I don't think that's handy for the moment. Really? Nothing Nothing we can really build. Oh. 
Oh, the iron mine, please. Ah, uh, yeah. Heh heh heh. Oops. They're coming. They're coming. We want some melee people. So those guys have... What do they have? They got spears, I'm going to assume. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll go for that. Go for the Bashi Bazook. Oh. Stables or the peasant farm? Stables give us a bit more money, didn't it? Peasant farm increases happiness. We need the happiness. Okay. So here we are in the grand scheme of things. We need to get into this squid. So we're going to have to come around that way. And we're going to come up this way. Now let's see how that goes. I am going to take a risk here. I move these troops up to Belgrade, exposing Athens. Hopefully that doesn't screw us in the end. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it didn't look like too much has really uh, altered here. Not not too shabby. We've got some money, so I, so I think... Excuse my mouth here. We can initiate a bit of trade with some more people. Let's try the Spaniards. We can give them improved grenades. See if they'll take it. Oh, they reject it. Really? Okay. Uh, improved grenades. And I'll pay you... How's 200 gold sound? Rejected utterly. Okay. How about I pay you 500? Oh, opposite way. Ah, ah. Stupid squid. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. And... 500 gold. Yes. That's not happening either. This is not going well. Let's see. I'll do that. I don't mind that. It's not too bad. Uh, I was able to trade with France, wouldn't I? You know what? Let's just see. Let's, let's just see what we can do here. Perhaps we might... Might just be able to get another trade. Hey, I'll take that. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty much what we can do for now. That boosted our money a bit, so that's good. Let's bring these guys up to Belgrade. Ah, very nice. Yes. Yes, indeed. Okay. Let's make sure... Continue the siege. I think we should be all right to continue that siege, yes. I want to get both armies in there. See if we can demand them to surrender. Got a damn demi cannon spawned. Invalid garrison, citizen militia. Yeah. Our Oregon guns should be able to take care of this nicely. Like, absolutely rip them to shreds. Just shred them completely. So let's see how that goes. Hopefully, all right. Let's add some more troops over here. Bo Bosnia Kenkor? Lancer Cavalry. Go ahead. As much over here as possible. Let's get some of the Azap now. Try and boost our defenses there a little bit. Just a little bit. Over here we can make the peasant farm. Please do. Unfortunately, they're coming out to us, but that's okay. We've got the organ gun. So let's save it. Ottoman Empire LP. Now let's have a battle of the first episode, eh? We can see the organ gun work. Garrison Provincial Line. They're not going to like the organ gun. The, uh, the first top two otagi. And here it is. Here is the war. Let's see the train we got to work with here. I wish we were on this end. Oh, this would have been a mud. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Well, we can certainly slap the organ gun right down here. I think that'll be okay. 
wonder if we might have to do some... Ah, shit. It's not far enough. Ah, uh, damn. Well, we can try doing some pot shots with them. Let's get some Israelis to form up here. And the other Israelis over here. And then we'll put the Semenis mob guys on the left. And we've got the Bashi Bazooks. Let's put the Bashi Bazooks on the right. Yeah, I feel we might want to spread everyone a bit. It's because they have artillery. Don't want to get smacked too much. These ones. Put these ones in the middle. Put you behind the hill. Now, they should come to us. I believe. And double you guys up here. Okay. Let's let's see. Let's see what happens. They should Okay. Try to fire at that artillery there. Here come the organ guns. What in the world? Why didn't you do it, huh? The demi cannons can definitely shoot at us. There you go. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> I think that did a lot of nothing, actually. <laughs> Okay, so let's modify the angle there a bit. What, so what did they aim at? What did they aim at? They're aiming at this flank. Okay. So if we pull these guys back a tad and reposition ourselves, they might not be able to get us as much. Not sure how well this is going to go. Looks like they're moving the pikemen up. I'm not entirely sure what for. Ah, yes, they're coming to us. Excellent. Let's aim there, see how that does. The organ gun has a brilliant spray. Absolutely hammers units. Uh oh. Yeah, they got a couple there. Not bad, though. Not bad. Cohesion standard. These things take a while to load, though. Cause, I mean, look at all, look at all the holes. You gotta fill a lot of holes with this one. Of the artillery outfit, though. The little, uh, little feather. It's very cute. Very cute indeed. So now I think if we just aim, like right, right around here, we should be able to get some uh, hits. Or at this rate, we might as well just wait until they're in range. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Are you people going to start firing soon? Oh, they are, though. Okay, not, not terrible. Not terrible. Re fall back a bit. Are you ready yet? Good. What is the loading time on this? 14. Ugh. God. Well, we are actually now in range, so, yeah, <laughs> that happens. Luckily, do we outnumber them rather heavily? Not done yet. Boy. Militia. Okay, so over here is the better spot to target. I can't believe the time it's taking to load this thing. The amount of volleys that their demi cannons have gotten off on us so far. Incredible. Compared to the one that we've gotten off with this. And who's to say they're even going to fire again at this point? Does it really take this long to load an organ gun? Is this really the way this is going to go? This is rather useless, I'm afraid. <laughs> and I think we can very well die. Because our organ gun is shit. Shit, shit, shit. Right, I've given up faith on the organ gun. 
I don't think it's going to be doing much for us in this battle. It absolutely refuses to open fire. And here comes another volley. Yeah. We might be able to flank them with our melee troops, though. Holy shit, come on. Really, people, really. Does it honestly take this much time? Oh, finally. Finally. Yes, there. There we go. And killed the bloody general in the... Yeah, and all. There it is. That was worthwhile. Now that's what I'm talking about. We got Mr. General Dandy there. Now I wonder if we can, uh, if we can position ourselves here a bit better. Let's try and bring these guys around this way. We've got these guys here. Yes, it's unfortunately not the best infantry in the world. Matter of fact, kind of crap. Yeah, they're opening up on us. That's really sucky. But we just aim right down in there. Let's bring these guys up to bear the brunt of the fire. Pretty sure these guys can move in to get some shots now. Yeah, now we got them all squished up in the center. This might actually help us out here. He's moving around our flank. Pretty sure those guys can handle the militia. I don't think they're very good. Let's get the bashy bazooks up and in it. Ooh, those are pikemen. Shit. Form up. Now, if we can get a shot into these pikemen before they get into us... Go back there. Now, go on. Get some shots. Please, 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 please. Yes. Yeah. We actually got some shots in there. Okay, let's bring these Bashi Bazook around. There we go, we've gotten into the militia there. Now I think if we flank a bit more here, we might be okay. Yes. Oh, what the hell, the two general guys? They're really charging? Get the flank of those garrison troops, please. Those guys. Jeez. Get them. Okay, get into the flank there. I'd love to have the, uh, the organ gun here. Fire on the invalid garrison regiment. I think that would be terrific. Ooh. We've got the citizen militia flanked here. As of infantry. Well, those militia are actually holding their own pretty well. That's uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, there we go. Those provincials are wavering. I think it would be handy to have them charge there. These bashy bazooks can continue moving up. Let's bring these guys back here. Try and get some, uh, try and get a rear charge in the pikemen. Yes, we've definitely got them there. Charge those militia in the flank. Yeah, we're getting some good shots on them. Very nice indeed. Oh, are we ready for for some firing? Actually, yeah, you should probably aim at that. 
I don't know if that actually did anything. No. Well, it certainly got them all, uh, all kerfuffled. I'll say that. I'd say we've done it. We have indeed busted the main force. Oh, fuck. The garrison provincials are coming back. Reform. Need you guys up here to get in on the flank. You as well. Bashi bazooks. You're going to be tremendously handy. How's up infantry and the Semenis? Let's send you guys around to get their artillery. Oh, what in the world? These guys. Were these guys always here? I guess they were. I really don't remember that. Pikemen. Uh oh. Let's get you guys into the garrison provincials. Bashy bazooks. I want you to take the flank of the pikemen. Not the damn general staff back again. They don't die. I swear they do not die. Let me aim for these guys. How about right there? Aim right in front of them. God lord. However, if they keep shooting the back of their own pikemen with their artillery, that would be okay. Yeah, there they go. They're wavering up now. Provincials. Very nice. Hey, where'd these come from? These must have returned from routing. We can't have that. Deal with that, please. Good lord. Absolutely fucky. Fucky, fucky, fucky. Hopefully they don't get s squished apart. The garrison militia. Hmm. If the general staff is this fantastic, we need to start using him. Very good. We've got them starting to waver. That's excellent there. Let's get these over to there into the flank. Come on. Get that bloody general. He should not be having that much fun. Okay. Um, as up infantry, you're going to be fine too after the guns. Get these guys down here to shoot into the rear. And this is a nice little flanking maneuver here. Oh, good. Good, good, good. We got rid of them. And these guys are finished up. Excellent. Wonderful stuff. So let's move in. Bashi Bazooks, I'm going to send you to the left. And the Israelis, I'm going to want you to form a line here. So we're going to need to overwhelm these guys. Yeah, and then you can all start shooting there pretty close in range, too. Which is very good. Whee! Doesn't it suck to be artillery? I said we should probably stop our guns from firing. Just in case we get some unfortunate friendly fire. Let's get them into the flank. This, you guys. And let's reposition you so that you can handle the Seminis here and get into their flank with the Bashi Bazooks. And let's run down the artillery while we're here. Charge into the rear of the garrison regiment. Very nice indeed. Oof, very good. Here they come. Why are you stopping? charge. Nah. They ran away. They're like, nope. Screw that. Let's just get an all-out charge in there. Excellent stuff. Decimation, is it not? A heroic victory. Ah, it's delicious, isn't it? Only 51 remain. <laughs> and it's ours. The strength of mass numbers. It's a beautiful life. We've got the spy. We can certainly use him up towards Vienna. 
Workers on strike, are they now? Are you people unhappy? I don't see why you would be. There, let's just make you a little more pleased. We definitely need to replenish that immediately. <laughs> takes takes up all our money. That's that's very good, yes. Captured Count Dracula. Azap infantry. Very saucy. Yes. Move into position here. Ooh. That is not looking too thrilling. Eek. Wonder. Can we send anybody that way? No, not really. Oh, well, I don't think there'll be too much of an issue. It's all cavalry. Hmm, maybe they will be. I don't know. We have got pretty good defensive melee infantry, so... Hopefully. But anyway, that definitely wraps us up for our first episode back here in Empire 2 Total War. And the terrific little Nine Years War beta expansion update thing. Mmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you want to hear more of that, please, by all means, subscribe. It definitely helps grow the channel and get the name out there. We're nearly to the thousand subs. Now, I can believe it. Thank you so much, everybody, who's taken part in the active subscription campaign. I, I am very pleased. And I'm very grateful to you all. So, so thank you. Thank you very much. I, I am very pleased. And it tickles me pink, absolutely. Also, like the video if you wish. It definitely lets me know you're enjoying the content. And again, helps get the videos out there into people's uh, recommended feeds and all that goody goody gumdrops. So, we'll see you next time when we pick up with the decimation of the Austrian Empire as the Ottomans, the giant in the east. Ta ta!